everybody, this is Rudiger from Conscience and this one will take a little bit longer than usual because uh, there's something more to say about uh, the last and uh, forthcoming recordings. First you may recognize uh, different background music and this time the background music is not music from myself, it's uh, from a friend of mine and he has several projects and in this podcast you can hear music from his projects called The Source of Time, The Lonesome Rider and Radio Repair Shop. I will put the link to his Bandcamp site in the description of this video so you can go there and uh, listen to his several projects and uh, Lots of releases there, he is making music for quite a while now. And uh, if you like what you hear, please tune in. So this podcast is about uh, the album Tales Cleaned Up, also known as Backwards Part 3. As you may know, there were already two EPs called Backwards and Backwards 2 which uh, consists of tracks I re-recorded and remade from my very early days. And this time I started to record some tracks to do backwards free and um, one thing led to another. And I ended up with enough material to do not only one album but two. So there will also be something like uh, backwards four. But this one is uh, entirely about Backwards 3, for Backwards 4 there will be a separate podcast. Already out is the single The Secret and um, some longtime friends may know um, The Secret was first a uh, track called The Trial and was released on a very early tape was called Calls of Despair and I later re-recorded that track with uh, better equipment and this re-recording ended up on um, a, a tape which was uh, called uh, Cleaned Up. Some other tracks of the album came from the uh, tape or album Tales and so the name Tales Cleaned Up was born for this release. second single will be a song called A Part Of It and this song is, it was already arranged but uh, never recorded. I found this track on my old um, MIDI discs for uh, the creator software. In Back in the, the, the early 90s you could just, you, you were just able to record um, MIDI data and um, I also took notes uh, of which sounds I used and so I was able to recreate the track as I composed it back then. I didn't change anything um, to the equipment or to uh, the old sounds. I tried to use as much of the old sounds as possible. This goes for all tracks of the album. Um, this was uh, one of the paradigms. One was uh, don't change the uh, arrangement and, and use as much of the old sounds as possible. So you may recognize that there is a totally new sound to some of you and for those who already know my work from the early 90s, um, all the old sounds are back again, but this time um, in an enhanced sound with uh, 
new vocals, new guitars, of course, but uh, compared to the last uh, album, it's a complete change. new tracks or old tracks I had to do some research to find all the discs and to find uh, old sound banks I even bought back one synthesizer I uh, didn't own anymore but this was not used on this album but on the next album backwards 4 and yes I can say it now it was uh, the Yamaha TG500 uh, which I didn't uh, have anymore, had anymore, and uh, so I had to buy back. So I um, took my Atari uh, 1040ST and grabbed my old discs and uh, the notes that were left from the early 90s and um, yeah, tried to, to find out which song was which um, because the names on the discs were not uh, as the songs were finally named and um, so it was lots of research lots of um, looking up which uh, transpositions are there how long were the uh, single notes um, which velocity was it and I had to yeah, remap all these things or recreate all these uh, information in my new system on my PC and um, that took quite a while but uh, because I wanted to be as authentic as possible it was worth the work. was uh, really remarkable uh, I guess is all the old uh, systems are still working all synthesizers all uh, old sound banks were totally in shape and the computer worked and everything was still there although it was uh, yes more than 30 years old in uh, some ways and I hope in 30 years the things we use now um, are still functioning if we need them. So some words about um, the tracks on the album and um, there are also some, I call them new tracks, but they are not entirely new. So what happened? I found some unfinished demos on the discs and um, I took them and I created the missing parts. And for some reason I didn't finish those tracks back then, which I uh, don't do anymore nowadays. I normally uh, disregard the, the, the whole track or the whole idea or I'm finishing it. And uh, back in the days I just started new things and uh, stored it away and forgot about it, yeah. whatever. Um, or I thought some other ideas were better, um, worth pursuing. But um, that's how it, how it went these days. And uh, so I got some fragments, some partly arranged, some not at all. And um, I recreated what I found. And then I made a whole new track out of it. And this goes for some tracks on the new album or um, for B-sides on some tracks. Um, for instance, uh, The World Owes You Nothing, the first track on the new album, is one of those uh, tracks I had already 
some ideas, but it wasn't a whole song, and I made a whole song out of it. Also, it was uh, You Are a Dancer, which is already um, recorded as a B-side to The Secret. And as I already mentioned, a part of it was uh, completely arranged on, on uh, the disc and yeah, I just recorded, this, uh, uh, recorded it, enhanced it um, and it had no lyrics before so I had to add some uh, lyrics and maybe this was the reason it was never recorded. But no, it has a lyric and uh, uh, so it became the second single. And we also have um, a track called The Rate of Absurdity, which will be the third single um, after the album is released, maybe uh, late summer uh, in 23. I don't know yet. So one track is entirely new, but it's um, the B-side to the second single part of it and it's called Operation R. It's um, an uh, instrumental and the sounds are all vintage sounds from the Korg 01W or the EPS sampler and whatever I used. Um, and some old samples I stored on my the hard disk for, for many many years and never used them and so they ended up on this entirely new track. The other tracks on the album are You Will Pay. This was a track made uh, only for the um, compilation Cleaned Up. The track Dissolute was from Tails. Also, Wake Up and See, The Tie Between Us, were from the album Tales. Unexpected Reply uh, will be the B-side of the third single. And this track was from uh, the album Evolution. The secret I already mentioned, The Lies, was first recorded, as far as I remember, also on Calls of Despair and I later reworked it as with uh, The Secret and um, the reworked version also ended up on uh, Cleaned Up. Then we have the track Changed which is the only one where I couldn't use any old sounds because uh, the Yamaha SY22 is not longer here. It was from the tape Reflections from 1992. And we have finally the track The Words Remain, which is also from the tape Evolution. Yeah, and as I said, I uh, didn't change the arrangement of the tracks uh, that led to some yeah, strange results. As you may notice, there are tracks which um, have a chorus, but the arrangement is uh, first verse, second verse, first chorus, second chorus, and the end. Um, this is the case um, in the track you would pay, for instance. Um, and I remember that I thought back then if you have three times the chorus in one track this is a too commercial approach and uh, it was not uh, independent like enough and uh, so I didn't do that and you may also notice the tracks back then were longer most of them uh, up to five or four minutes and so you have got um, longer instrumental parts and also the lyrics were um, sometimes very short, just a few lines and yeah, you can just um, hear the development of the project at this stage and um, to my surprise all the old ideas are still working. 
yeah, back then I, I hadn't so much rules in mind how to be played in the radio or on the show or how long the radio edit uh, has to be. All those things uh, didn't matter then. And so I just did what I like. And that's uh, nice to hear after all those years. I hope you like it. And um, yeah. So that's about it. And watch out for the next releases this year, also for the forthcoming album Backwards 4 with more reworked and new tracks. And check out all other sources on Facebook, Instagram, on all platforms, Spotify, YouTube, and uh, hope to hear or see you soon. Bye.